All right, welcome back. We have a guest in the house, and um, he's a gentleman. He's um, well read. He's everything. He's a vocalist. He's spirit filled. His name is Oluremi Similages. I'm just almost smiling right now. <laughs> 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 it's good to have you in the house. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you, presenters. Tell us a bit about yourself. Good day, viewers. I'm Similijisu Oluremi Samuel, and um. A student, okay. a vocalist. Okay, I'm particular about that vocalist. Vocalist, okay. okay. So you'll be doing a bit of singing for us before you go. Okay, hopefully, no okay. problem. Uh, hopefully. Okay. Are the spirits yeah. leads, though? You should just say yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, no problem. Okay, Terry, it was good to have you on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you for honoring our invite. Thank you for having me. Thank you, thank you. pleasure. Yeah. Okay, right, so, so for me, let's kick start. Let's put I tell you, my first in question is what, what attracted you to music? What attracted me As to music? Okay. Okay. I had the passion for music and it started developing when I was six years. Yes. Six, wow. six years. At the then New Covenant, New Covenant Church, Okoro Center, behind Ebenezer, where I was um, the, in the children's choir. Mm -hmm. For a few years, yes, for four to five years, say. Then, apart from that, also, I was also in my school choir, then Shepherd Infant Academy, so also at the school. Been in the choir. Yes, I've always been in the choir. So no, no one was always calling you choir. So that was why I it to music. <laughs> no. And your parents were in support of it? Uh, that's not At the issue. point, at the point, my late dad said, How can a son go and study music? Hi. Of all things, of music. What happens to medicine? What happens to medicine, <laughs> computer engineer, computer scientist, and so. Mm -hmm. But along the line, um, I think he had no choice. No, I'm particular about what you told him. What was the response? Did you go and pray about it? Did you do something about it? Um, all I just said was, okay, if it was actually God that asked me, to go and do that music, he knows how he will sort it out with him. So it was God who asked you. Yeah. So indirectly, you're trying to say you were called, called into the ministry. In, into the ministry. Yeah, I had the calling. What year was that? Ah, uh, okay. In um, 2000, 2010, precisely. 2010. Yeah. So it's been about nine years. Nine years. Now. Yes. Yes. Nine years. Yeah. Wow, that, that's that's huge. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay. Being a gospel artist mm. and um, you know. For the past nine years, I would, okay. because to me, I would say professionally as a gospel artist, started nine years ago. Yeah. Um, being a gospel artist, how have you been able to develop your singing? Not just the fact that you you are called, like as a singer, as a vocalist. How have you been able to develop yourself? Okay. You know, to a certain level whereby people can hear you sing, and apart from the fact that your spirit feel, they know okay. that you have it naturally. They, you have that voice. How have you been able to to okay. develop yourself to that level? Um. I want to borrow from my leader's word, um, Azu. Okay. It will say consistency is the key. Oh, okay. So um, you have to. I, uh, I was consistent. Not just that. I was rehearsing. Yeah. yeah I have um, different groups that I go for rehearsals, or that I go for ministration, amongst which are the National Youth Choir, okay. New Covenant Church, okay. also known as the Foreigners. Okay. Then. Um, Amongst which are His Majesty Crew, mm -hmm. amongst which are um, the Levite Ministry by um, owned by um, Murakinyo okay. Adeninka, okay. and amongst many others like that. Okay. Thank yes, you. from from all this uh, you mentioned, from there you've been able to you you were able to develop yourself as a as yeah. a vocalist, yeah. as a place of practice. Yeah. Um. Um. Being a vocalist, you don't yeah. play any instrument. I like to believe that there's this pride or imbalance in the church today. If you okay. don't play an instrument, you can't be considered to be mm. an artist. Okay. So has there been any <laughs> melt that at one point in time somebody looks at you and tells you, oh, you don't play an instrument, are you sure you can really do this? Or when you want to go on stage to sing and then they give you the wrong key and you can't say anything about it. You are laughing. Yeah. That's been the experience. Uh, sure. Tell us about it. Okay. Um, I do have a little idea about um the keyboard okay. yeah so it's always though i said little yeah. 
So when I'm on keyboard and my pastor sees me, he'll be like, <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> Until recently when he sees the stuff I was made of, okay. then he allowed, when the main keyboard uh, keyboardist is, yeah. is not around, I take charge and also I also coordinate my church. If choir. you take charge, it's not little experience anymore. Mm. It's, mm-hmm. it's like you are knowledgeable. This man is just so humble. Ah, he takes it's just, of the old yeah. <laughs> charge you think, and he's saying, I have a little experience. Now, when, when you're talking about little experience, okay. what do you like? That simply means that I, with the little experience you have, mm. like you say, for example, I'm a vocalist and I need I need a coach. I need someone to help me to you know improve my vocal. Okay. Um, so, are you trying to say that you can be of help? Uh, we, we can say you're a music director. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm trying to that. Why, how, why would you now say you have little experience? Whereas the you bar, are. The bar, you know, says you should be humble. God bless you, proud and uplift the humble. Of course. So he's been humble. Now. <laughs> Apart from even being humble, um, there's this saying that says um, it's just the empty barrel that, mm, makes, that makes the loudest noise. noise. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So when you get to the place of work, you know that yes, mm. this is a serious one. Like, who are your front runners? Who are your mentors? Okay, before I mention my men- my mentors, um, I have a role model who I look up to, or should I say role models? One of them um, is a Kyle Walker. Okay, okay. wow. That's yes. way back. Yes. Way back. Yes. Wow, wow. wow. And um, also the present Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. Mm. Uh, I what look up to. Who look up to? Um, I think those are the two for now. That's for yeah. your role models. Yeah. Do you have yeah. mentors? That yeah, just like I have mentors, yeah. Okay. Okay, number one. Um, Azubuke Ubani. Oh, we've had him here on the show before. Yeah. Yeah, wow. And I was pretty good. He <laughs> talked to me this morning. And he had a spirit in him. So. Wow. So, um, obviously. He's one of my mentors. Okay. Um, then, Sister Yin Kamura Kinyo, mm-hmm. too. He's one of my mentors. Then, um, number three person, I would say, do not too closely, but we'll talk on regular basis is um, the Prince of uh, the priest of praise himself, okay. Baba Tumishi. Oh, Baba Tumishi! Wow, yeah, that's, so. that's that's nice. That's uh, nice. What what do you hope to achieve by you know deciding that I want to be a musician mm. in Nigeria? Mm-hmm. It's not something that you just say and you won't go as the spirit. Holy spirit, are you sure you are? You're really calling me. I don't want to go hungry eventually. So <laughs> <laughs> so you decide okay. that you want to go into music. Yeah. What do you hope to achieve? Hmm to create an environment where you know the bible says in the book of john chapter 4 that um it is now time when the worshipers will worship the father in spirit Spirit and in in truth truth. now it is now to create an environment where we'll have genuine worshipers not just pretenders Mm. not just um not just uh let me use the word um People that do not know what they do, mm. just to come and mm-mm. okay, so an experience during my last concert, yes. and this man was around um, Prince Goki Bajawa, mm-hmm. okay. and during during his ministration, there are um, a lot of things took place, a lot miracles? that miracles, wow. uh, like burdens were lifted. Mm-hmm. But it was present. It was present. Okay. So that is the kind of um, thing I hope to achieve. Then also to also create a platform whereby um, people like me, up um, up and coming hats, okay. can also have um, the opportunity to also worship their God. creator. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Okay, I was gonna pick up on what you said. Okay. Pretenders. Yeah. Well, what do you mean pretenders? Are we seeing people who actually do sing and, and shout and kneel down and do everything? You know, pretenders? there are different ways where we um, actually worship God. Yeah. Okay. But um, it's only the Father that knows those, the, those true the true worshippers. Now, one way of worshipping God is by kneeling down. Okay. One way of worshipping God is by raising up your hand. Okay. Now, Imagine a vocalist in front. You are trying to show your skills. Uh, oh, like the rift that runs. Okay. <laughs> or, okay, you just bought a new dress. A, a new show dress. Off. A show yes. off. Yeah. Mm. Okay, now you are not actually worshipping again. You are trying to call the attention to yourself. Yes, that Okay, see, this is what I'm actually wearing. Mm. And we have a lot of them among the vocalists. Mm. 
of the present day. Mm. Thank so you. So I that's I think the way you're trying to like even some people that are like vocally they are really really sound. Like mm-hmm. you hear them sing, mm-hmm. you think angels are singing. Mm-hmm. Most of them just develop those skills so that mm-hmm. people can like say, ah, this guy can Very sing. Good. And mm-hmm. They don't exactly. have to that. They don't take that. They turn the glory, glory back, back to God. Back to like God. Exactly. All the glory exactly. So and um, Azu used to say something. He would say, uh, whenever you are given the opportunity. Don't just feel big. That it's me. It's yeah, my it is my talent okay. that has given you this platform. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's a place for talent, mm-hmm. and there's a place for God to showcase you or to bring you out into the limelight. Mm-hmm. So, whenever you are given an opportunity, just return to glory. Back to him. Back to him. Back yeah. to him. So, in one word, we need to. You are saying to be a worshiper, you need to be in the spirit. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Spirit yeah. Sure. What is okay. your advice for up and coming artists? Oh, my advice, my advice for up and coming access is that they should just face whatever they are doing, and um, the place of God should be number eminent one. and should be the number one. Yeah. That once they have um the place for God, the Bible says um the gift of a man maketh ways yeah, yeah. for him. So once you have that place of God, definitely the gift will come. Uh, the opening or the opportunity will come. I can. Yeah. We're talking about something last time. We we talked about the um, act artists backsliding. Yeah. What happens to them? And oh. did you still go on the audience? Yeah, like trying to look. Let, 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 look I think let, just to buttress what as from I just said now. Okay. You have an artist who 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 is like okay. I'm ministering. God has okay. called me. You're ministering, and okay, let me use one like money is not coming. In. <laughs> and has that been a point in time? Fine, I'm sorry. I want to try to reframe your question. Yeah. Sorry. Like, has there been a time where we're like, oh, let me just sharply try some more going and say, Kula, Habi. Ah, she yes, that's one, one of the challenges. Is it even, <laughs> is it even only secular or mm. an artist who ends up sleeping with a member of the church? Mm-hmm. Other scenes wow. that we don't even know about. And then they come out and like, give God praise, worship Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, that's one of the challenges because um somebody slid into my DM one day and um was like um see me uh you have the voice like adequately good you have this you have that and ah uh, okay why not let us do a collab together and um let's see how it will go and then You're at first me. I was I was like okay, okay should I give it a thought or should I give it a go ahead but then I remembered that mm. okay. It is God that has called me, mm. and He has not com- called me to mix up with these um, so-called those that are painting themselves to be who they are not. Mm. So I just actually turned the offer yeah. down, and um, since then, though it has not been easy, but uh, it has not been easy. Let me tell you, <laughs> because yeah, because that. we <laughs> see the way at which um, the secular artists are going. Mm. At a very very fast speed. They get their yeah. money and their fame. Exact exactly exactly. Yeah, so they ask you, yeah. speed. Oh yeah, tell me now. What do I do? What do so, I do next? So that's just it. Like um, it, that's one of the challenges. And um, the second challenge is um, when um, you have a program coming up, yeah. and you feel okay. Ugh, are people gonna come for this program? Mm-hmm. Are people gonna turn out for this program? Mm-hmm. And you feel okay. Should, what should I just do at this point? You tend to get confused. Mm. Now, the best thing I did was just to hand everything over to, to God. God. To just hand everything over to God and God. So if you bring them, fine. just just take the wheel. Okay, something happened at my last concert. Yeah. Yes, one of the artists I was bringing actually had another program for that day, mm. and it has actually gone viral. And I was I was scared when I saw it that ah, okay, this person that I'm actually inviting, uh, he has another show. Now people have seen it. I just hope people turn up for this program. I just pretty hope. It got to a point I lost my sleep. I could not eat. Mm. I was having a headache. <laughs> because you then then Sister Hinka just called me and said, "See me, just calm down. Everything will be fine." It will go a- according as you have mm. planned it, and then 
I had a rest of mind that mm. okay. So I think yes. that's a place of mentors. Yes, mm. so have yeah, they yeah. have a way of Surrounded ways. Because people. definitely yeah. they've experienced yeah. exactly, yeah, exactly. So know how, how and it's so normal to fall too. Mm. Yeah. So, so but finally, before we go, before you definitely do something for us, I'm okay. sure many people like you're talking about vocalist, vocalist. Yeah, let's let's see what you yeah, hey, yeah, okay. Before we go now, how I just want to ask, pick a question from what you said. I'm okay. oh, sorry. And uh, it's talking talk about taking everything back to God. Uh, how, okay. At what point? How do you like leave everything to God? Since it's just by saying God, I leave it all to your ends. Or you know, some people, not everyone understands that. So how 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 do you? Okay. How do you do that? Do you just say it and then you just feel okay? God has taken no, <laughs> no. I I don't just say it too. In, sometimes when I even say it, I still have a bit of worries. Mm -hmm. But um. Our God is a merciful God. Let me start from there. So once you genuinely hand everything over to him, he knows how to step in. And it will just be in split of seconds, that worry that you have just been worrying about okay, how do I go about this? How do I go about it? You just have that peace of mind. That calmness will just come. That's just it. So I can't explain how God just does, does it, it because it's a miracle that, of that, God. That, yeah. that, that, that simply that makes it. him God. Yeah. That's why it's really awesome. You yeah. just cannot predict it. God yeah. is just it's not, it's not predictive. Yeah. So you have to do something for us. Definitely. Know what it Let's is. hear you do something. Let's hear you do something for us. <laughs> you don't know what it is, but do you, you need, have to do something Do you need backups? You can back you up. <laughs> okay. I, I do soprano. Honestly. I can't do steno. Okay. Mm. How did you know? <laughs> Okay, All right, so let's hear you do something first. Okay, I would like to present this popular hymn, Count Your Blessings. Okay. When upon life's pillows you are tempted toast, when you are discouraged thinking all is lost, count your many blessings money cannot buy. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. I didn't even ask this question. <laughs> my, 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 my kids, it was, I mean, oh, oh my God. This is a worshiper. <laughs> I was going to the spirit already. Then I just came so out. What brought you first back? <laughs> first ask a bashing. I can't see me. But it was a wonderful time with you. Mm, thank and when you we for do call you again, me. you'll come again. Definitely. Once you know more Def about the worship art. Definitely. We're worship and it's good to worship. Mm, I think definitely. we should all learn how to worship God in truth yeah. and in spirit. Yeah. So I'll be going for this um short break and when we get back, I'll be going straight to our top ten countdown. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.